看到阿五。<laughs> Hello. Hello, little bit. Oh, such a girl. Hello, hi, it's me, Tree, it's me, today is Vlogmas Day 8, yes, yes, 8, um, I'm sorry for the, uh, kind of crummy lighting, it's kind of later in the day than I've been shooting, it's 3.30, I'm sorry, my clock's wrong, so I have to math it, uh, it's like 3.30, and I live in the north, like real far north, so the sun goes down and hides behind things very early and my house has very peculiar lighting so here we are in all of our our wondrous questionable lighting decisions um i thought today i would just do like a, a kind of very 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 incomplete kind of stuff i like um, of, of faves at the moment, if you will. I don't know if people are interested in this. I'm always interested in hearing what other people like. So we're gonna go with what I like, and if you don't like it, well, I have other videos. So, um, in, in, in case you don't know, I'm a mixed media conceptual artist and illustrator and writer. So I have a professional interest in visual artists and writers. It's just how I am. So my favorite artists at the moment are Camilla de Erico, Shinging Core. Ayakato, uh, Fawnwood, who I can't remember what their actual name is. Fawnwood is their Instagram handle. Milk, whose name is Chiara Bautista. Beth Kavner. Renka, whose name is Jamie, I want to say. And they're going by a different handle on Instagram now. It's like the neon something or another. I have to look. Uh, Lynn Romanova. Romano... Ratton. Lynn Romanov, there we go, like Natasha, and uh, Camille, whose real name I don't think I actually know. Okay. Uh, writers, writers slash books, it's like I, I love Maggie Stiefvater. The Raven Cycle is one of my favorite series of all time. A.S. Bayet, but I'm really more into her short stories, like The Little Lost, uh, The Little Lost, pfft. The Little Black Book of Stories is an excellent short story fairy tale book, and it's one of those fairy tale books where it's true to the idea of fairy tale, not the morality tale part of it, but the horrific part of it, so yeah, real good. Uh, Dread Singles, his name is actually Jordan, and they do like microfiction on Twitter and are working on a novel or three. Jordan, give me novels. Uh, Mercedes Lackey. Mercedes Lackey's been one of my favorite authors since I was like 11. So, hi. And Richard Sykin, who is one of my favorite poets, absolute favorite po poet. His book Crush is so good. And the, uh, the intro that was written by, as I totally lose their name, I can't read it from here. The person who wrote, uh, the, the, the person who wrote the intro to Crush is an amazing poet too. And the essay as the preface is so good. And I'm also a Shakespeare walk, in case you missed that somewhere along the way. I'm strange, I have favorite people. Like, not in a favorite people in my life, but favorite people I like, like to watch on things. So, hi, I'm sorry, this is low-key creepy. Sam DeLove is probably my absolute 
favorite RPG player. They are, they're amazing. They're just so good. Jeffrey Marsh, who is a non-binary activist. Uh, Jonathan, bleh, can't say it, Jonathan Van Ness, who is non-binary and non-queer eye for the straight guy. Um, though honestly, I'm not a big fan of Queer Eye for, for the, of the new Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. I, I liked a couple episodes of it, but then I just kind of like, Ur. but I enjoy Jonathan Van Ness. Uh, currently, Van Ness is learning how to do, um, gymnastics, and it's real cute. Talison Jaffe, who is on Critical Role, but I've been listening to stuff that Talison Jaffe has been in since I was, like, a spawnlet, so... Do, 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 do. Eric Campbell, who's one of my favorite game masters. Usually, if you're gonna see Sam DeLeff, you're also gonna see Eric Campbell. Um, Markia McCarthy, McCarthy? McCarthy? I can't say her name today. Markia McCarthy. There we go. Who, who's somebody who just, like, recently started really enjoying she does she's on um tempting fate with saving throw show and does like hosting and stuff but um tempting fate is one of those places that sam's always on so it's like it's been giving me you know perspective on Marquia, and i'm really enjoying her i really like um i really like gravati too whose last name i've just totally lost who is also on tempting fate all the time too and aki i really enjoy aki who my first encounter with Aki was in the Vast fandom and they moved to LA last year and yeah <laughs> it's like all my favorite people are in one place I really like it and I really enjoy Poizel too the poizel has been kind of absent from a lot of things recently so um since we're in this vicinity RPGs games twitch channels I really like Uncommon Trust, and usually you can find them on Q Times. Vast was a short-lived, like two seasons, Geek and Sundry sci-fi RPG that was completely homebrewed and completely chaotic. Oh, that reminds me, Max Isaacson. I love Max Isaac Isaacson, that weird little man. He's a director. But he also does, like, RPG things. Uh, sometimes, like, he was on Saving Throw Show all the time for Tempting Fate. And he was one of the main players in Vast. He was a character named Visionary Destroyer, who was like a 14-foot space cockroach. And was the best person ever in the history of ever. I loved her so much. Uh, Geist Before the Gate, which is like six episodes, and it's on Q Times, which is on their YouTube channel too. The Wednesday Club, which was something that Geek and Sundry used to do and stopped, and I'm mad about that still. But it was basically Towson Jaffe, Amy Dallin, who I love Amy Dallin too, she should be on My Favorite People thing, and Matt Key sitting together and geeking out about comic books, and it was real good. <laughs> um, do 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 do. And Amy Dallin has a, um, has a Twitch channel called Enthusiamy. She's basically Enthusiamy everywhere that matters. And she's just this complete light and, yeah. Uh, Saving Throw Show, which I've mentioned a number of times, they also had a short, short, like a six episode game that's coming back in January called New Pantheon that I really, really am excited about. It has Sam Delev and Aki and also Cohen, who I love Cohen with a desperation too. Most of these people are non-binary in case you didn't guess. Non-binary or women. Hi. Um, Eric's TBD RPG, which you can find on Geek and Sundry's YouTube channel. I think it's still on Geek and Sundry's Twitch also. But it was, it was supposed to be a, we're going to try out different game systems and became, we're going to play Doctor Who. And it, ha it was the first place I ever saw Sam DeLev. It was the first place I ever saw Eric Campbell GM. It was the first place. First place? No, second place I encountered Amy Dallin and Gina DeVivo. <laughs> yeah, it, it's real good. It's like Talos and Jaffe shows up as the master, which is fantastic. Darren DePaul, who if you play Overwatch, you know who Darren DePaul is. Um, plays a Santarin. Matt Mercer plays the weirdest Ood in the history of ever. It's real good. 
um, and Callisto 6, which was three seasons on Geek and Sundry and was an Eric Campbell game, surprise, surprise, in the Cypher system, and it was a super punk game. And Sam DeLev and Gina DeVivo and occasionally Aki and enthusi and not enthusiasts, Amy and Amy Dallin and Eliza Pearl, who is lovely, and Hector, Nav Hector Navarro and Towels and Jaffe showed up and Xander showed up and it, it was so good. Marquia McCarthy showed up. Like, basically, anytime Eric Campbell does a thing, I am likely to be like, yes, all my favorite people are in one place. Music. Music is complicated because I like loud music, and this doesn't even, like, cover a third of it, I swear. But, uh, Sasha Sloan, Conan Gray, In Love with a Ghost, Megan Tonjes, Better Than Ezra, Ez Ezra, Better Than Ezra, Florence and the Machine, The Refreshments, which also means Roger Klein and the Peacemakers, Gin Blossoms, Heather Perry and the Blanks, which also means Aviatrix and, uh, Good in the Dark, Orville Peck, I've been... I've been easing into. Uh, he's so interesting. Um, Gilded Bats. I like lots of weird stuff. And it's like... It's like I, I like country. But I like weird country. I like like Nico Case, who's like country noir. And Orville Peck, who has just as much David Lynch in his stuff as he does anything else. And music is complicated. TV movies, and again, this is a very, very, very brief list because, boy, do I like stuff. Um, Sense8. Sense8 is so good. If you haven't seen Sense8, you should watch Sense8. Cold Comfort Farm, Leverage, Hannibal, Empire Records, Elementary, uh, The Prophecy, which has Christopher Walken in it, and Eric Stoltz, and is the most bizarre religioso horror movie in the history of ever, and there's a series. There's like five of these movies. And each one is weirder than the last. The original, The Women, which is from the 30s and or 40s. Uh, the silent film, Nosferatu, Howl's Moving Castle. Eureka, which was a sci-fi channel original series about the smartest little town in America where all like these super scary scientists live. Uh, Mansfield Park. Jane Austen's weird for me. I really don't enjoy most Jane Austen like novels, but I like the adaptations. And Mansfield Park is my favorite. Johnny Lee Miller is in it too, which is real strange. Slings and Arrows, which is a was three seasons Canadian drama. Each each season had like six episodes in it. It was real, real strange and real abrupt. And it was about a Shakespeare festival in Canada. <laughs> slings and labor, slings and labors. Slings and Arrows is a reference to Hamlet. In case you didn't know. Uh, Midsummer Night's Dream. I really enjoy the Callista Flockhart, Kevin Klein, Michelle Pfeiffer iteration. Callista Flockhart gets like all sorts of all sorts of issues with her because of like things like Alan McBeal, but she is such a good actor. Hackers, because I'm old, yo. Evan Otter's Judd Bane Christmas, Life and Adventures of Santa Claus, which is the literally the most pagan Christmas story you are ever going to see. Uh, Stingiest Man in Town, which is a Rankin and Bass animation. Uh, so is uh, Life Adventures of Santa Claus. It's a Rankin and Bass claymation. But Stingiest Man in Town is a Rankin and Bass animation. But it's an adaptation of a Broadway musical. Scrooge, but I like the Alistair Sims Scrooge because I'm specific, though I will watch any of them. And Twister because I love myself a good disaster movie. Podcasts. I like a lot of pa podcasts, but my big ones right now are Says Who, which is a political podcast with Dan Sinker and Maureen Johnson. Dan Sinker, if anybody remembers what Punk Planet was or remembers it from Gilmore Girls, uh, was a was a punk zine from Chicago, and Dan Sinker was the founder of it. Maureen Johnson is a YA author. An occasional voice on Welcome to Night Vale. She is intern Marie. Magnus Archives is oh, so good. King Falls AM is just super weird. And Welcome to Night Vale. I, doesn't everybody have Welcome to Night Vale on their list? Uh, YouTube channels. I like a lot of YouTube channels, so just like bear with me here. I'm only putting like a few of them on here. But uh, Furry Little Peach. Uh, Sean is a 
an illustrator from uh, Sydney, and her stuff is super cute. Fran the Nerd, who is an illustrator from Chile, but she's lived in Germany and England, and now she's in New York. Into the Microcosmos, which is a which is a complexly series. Complexly is the company that the Vlog Brothers own that does things like Crash Course and SciShow and SciShow Space, which SciShow Sci Space is real good too. Um, but into into the Microcosmos is stuff like tardigrades and little tiny things that you need microscopes to see. Space Time, which is um, again complexly, it's done in co collaboration with PBS. Um, and it's basically astrophysics because I'm a nerd. I, I like physics. I wanted to be a physicist. So, uh, the art assignment, which is also a complex lead in collaboration with PBS. It's hosted by Sarah Green, who is married to John Green, but it's, it's real good. It does, it does a lot of pulling apart of art in ways that's accessible for people who didn't go to art school. Be a test kitchen because everybody likes to watch Claire just have a slow melt meltdown. Though my favorite people are Emil, Emil. It's either Emil or Amiel. I've heard it both ways on the sh on. I've heard it both ways on their YouTube channel, but Amiel and Christina are my favorite people actually. A uh, cat creature and and that can't talk, which yeah, cat creature which also means Piper Blue. Uh, Annabelle is an art student at RISD, and her and her sister Lilith, it's just like, it's vlogging and art stuff, and hey, yeah. Uh, Conan Gray, when he was still doing his, he periodically does stuff, but he's on tour all the time right now, so. Mm -hmm. uh, Megan Tonjas is just like, so much fun. And uh, Rosiana Hodges. Hodge I don't know how to say Rosianna's name off the top of my head. And the light's just getting darker and darker in here, isn't it? Uh, she, but Rosianna does a series called um, Backburner where she just cooks through cookbooks and it's so much more about her mental health than it is the cookbook, though the cookbook is important. Uh, manga, anime, and comics, Could we're gonna do this quick because light, light is going. Pet Shop of Horrors, which is kind of an obscure Manga and anime, Angel Sanctuary, also kind of obscure. Uh, Pet Shop of Horrors is Matsuri Kino, Angel Sanctuary, Count Kane, and Boys Next Door, which are all on this list, are Kaori Yuki, FLCL, Sailor Moon, Robot Carnival, which was, um, it's an anime, but was one of the first actual legitimate anime I ever saw that wasn't, like, being hand-waved as, like, some American kid thing, like Voltron was. Uh, my favorite story, and it was like a series of short stories, and my favorite in it was called Presence. Saga, The Wicked and the Divine, Young Avengers, but it's like the Taron Gillen one, which is so good. Hawkeye, but it's the Matt Fraction Hawkeye. Ms. Marvel, uh, and Squirrel Girl. So there you go. There are some of my faves. I have lots of faves. It doesn't even cover everything. It really doesn't doesn't even cover like half of it. It's like maybe an eighth. I like things and I like things hard. So I'm gonna go because the light is completely sucking and I probably should edit this thing. So do good, be kind, be brave, watch something or listen to something or read something you haven't before. Try something new. Encourage. Mm -hmm.